Hello and welcome to round six of the Enduro World Series here in Whistler, Canada. Top of the world for the past half decade has been the cause of much emotion and drama. From come behind victories to bittersweet defeat. So let's learn more if this really is the most famous trail in the world and how it's evolved and survived. All right, guys, here we are up at the top of the peak chair. Of course, the iconic start of stage number five for this year's Enduro World Series, and I'm joined by Tim Haggerty. I mean, the trail builders in this community are great. You know, if we run trail nights on Tuesday nights, early season and late season, we have anywhere between 20 and 40 people out. Busiest nights get 70. What goes into the building hours with this trail? Like, how many hours did it take to kind of get it to where it's at? They started in the fall of 2011, and this opened like around first week of August. 2012. I think it adds to the whole experience of the bike park and you know not not everybody's here to just downhill. Some of the stuff that it actually leads to outside the boundary, Kyber, middle of nowhere, cashmere, ride don't slide, you know it, it benefits more of the regular riders that just want to come here and experience this, experience a beautiful 5,000 foot descent and like riding tech. But it looks like a really fun trail to race too and uh, it is super impressive to watch the bike skills through this piece of terrain and know that it's built that they can actually race it too. So what we do is we take the rocks, stand them up on end pretty much. So we dig them all the way in. So the face that you see isn't actually the big face of the rock. Usually, uh, usually what's in the ground is the big face. And then we uh, stone pitch it all the way up. So we stand them up and we just try to not make it totally even because what gives us traction up here is having a little bit of edges. You know, the average person is breaking through here, not the EWS racer. It's a race within a race. I reckon you should get an award just for, uh, just for being the, the fastest guy down stage five. Yet between the plaza and the top of the peak chair lays 13 very different and unique trails that make this stage one of a kind to race. With names like No Joke, Little Alder, Too Tight, Monkey Hands, and of course Angry Pirate, it has something for everyone, from machine built to original old school single track. And you have to talk about the emotional toll it takes on those that aren't standing on the top of the box at the end of the day. It was, it was a lot of pain. It's not a stage you can ride flat out, that's for sure. Well, that was just survival at the bottom. You really had to pace yourself. Arm pump of my life. It's hard to hold on. My shoulders are super sore. With over half a decade of racing on this stage alone, it can make it or it can break it for you. Is the overall 